Hi, this is Professor CC19, and today is May 4th, 2022, and I am here for my daily Quirtle, Octurtle, and Worldle, the Wordle spin-off games. And I'm also here for May the 4th be with you, Star Wars Day, Intergalactic Star Wars Day, to be more specific, as well as Firefighters Day and Orange Juice Day. I am not kidding with that. And we're going to be using inspired words from those three themes in our puzzles today. I just started doing these Wordle spin-off puzzles daily. I just started it yesterday, so if you're enjoying it so far on this channel, please hit that like button, subscribe, I would really appreciate it. I'm also live on Twitch almost every day, would really appreciate the follow over there as well. And let's see how well today's puzzles go. So I'm trying to get a variety of letters, consonants, and vowels. So I'm not going to be doing lightsaber for Star Wars, but a saber is a light sword. So that's what I'm going to be doing. L-I-G-H-T and S-W-O-R-D, light sword. And I'm also going to be using for firefighters the word brave, because the profession with some of the most bravery possible. So I thought that would be the most appropriate word. Uh, yeah, let's do it. And I think that worked out really well. We have a lot of greens, especially towards the bottom. We have a W, an A, and an E, all in the correct spots on the bottom left word. And what else might go with it? So what other letters go with W? It's not an S. Um, there aren't really that many other letters that go with W now that I think about it. I might come, oh, awake. That's the only word I can think of at this point that doesn't use any different letters and uh, reuses among the letters we already used. I mean, it does use the K, but I mean something to go with the W at the start. So I think it's awake. Yeah, that's the only thing that made sense. Um, the word on the top right starts with an S-I, and it has an L in it somewhere. It makes me think of the word silly. But I'm sure it could be some other things. It could be... Um, well, we can't use K again. It can't be silky. Um, is there anything we can do with a P in it? S, uh, no, I think silly makes the most sense also. N. I'm going to try silly. All right, my gut instincts are working out really well today. Um, the top left word I'm a little concerned about. Although we have all five letters. A, I, O, L, and V. We have three vowels. Viola. That is a great word. Oh! It's not correct, though. <laughs> it's V-O-I-L-A. Voila. Like if I were to say voila after performing a magic trick or doing something that had a satisfying conclusion. It has to be that, and that leaves us with two guesses for the final word. Man, voila, that's a, that's, I, I'm very surprised that they use that. It sounds French. It probably is French. Uh, and let's see here. We have an O and an E and an H. I'm going to try phone, P-H-O-N-E, because P and N, some good consonants we haven't used yet. And it's correct. All right. Viol, <laughs> I keep wanting to say it, voila, silly, awake, and phone. Very interesting quirtle. Let's move on to the octurtle. And for the octurtle, I'm going to be using orange juice themed words. And even though this may not be the best starter, I'm just going to be using three words that are my definition of orange juice. Fresh. Pulpy. <laughs> I know that's not a great word. And juice, obviously. <laughs> that actually got us quite a bit. There's E's in almost every word here. A fair amount of C's. Yeah, this actually worked out better than I expected. 
All right, we still have a T and an N to use for consonants, and an A and an O for vowels. So we have word number six ends in E-C-H. Um, what might go with that? I think it's going to be a consonant digraph or blend at the start of the word. So T, 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 O. Because I keep thinking E-A-C-H, like teach or peach, but that's not right. It's E-C-H. Etch. Sketch? No, there's no S in it. Um, I might come back to that one. I'm not really sure what that might be. Oh, beach. Oh, no, beach is spelled B-E-A. Or is, is there another spelling, B-E-E-C-H? Oh, like beach wood. I think that's right. If it's not, please tell me in the comments so I don't look like an idiot any longer <laughs> what the actual definition of beach is. But I think there is a beach wood. And also leave your comments how you're doing with these puzzles. I hope these uh, videos that I'm starting now are helpful. Uh, let's see. We have an S and an E in word number four. That's the end. We also have C and an L. So I'm thinking close or close based on how you want to say it. All right. Word number three ends in a C-E. Don't really have any other information with it, though. I really want to use the N and the T soon. So if there's nothing else I can figure out on my own, I'm going to use a different word that uses a T, A, and an N, and maybe some other letters. So, um... I want to say talon, but we've already used the O and the L. Um, what else could I use? Tang. Tangy? Tango. Well, there are more O's than Y's at this point, so I think I'm going to go with tango. Although, O at the end is kind of unusual. I think that's still a decent word to help with placement. So I'm going to go with tango. All right, that helped somewhat. Only one word with a T. Lots of words with N's and A's. Oh, we have A-N-C-E, and we haven't used D. So it has to be dance. No other words would be correct there, I don't think. Yeah, dance for word number three. On the far right, word number eight starts with a B-A. The O can't be third or last, so it has to be B-A blank O. And the N is at the end, so B-A blank O-N. Um... I'm not sure what this word is. Oh, there's an R in it, Baron. I missed the R up top. That's a cool word. I like the word Baron. All right. Um, let's go back to word two. We have A, R, and a Y. We also have an E, N, and L, so it has to be early. The word on the far left, word number one, blank R, O also has an L, so I'm thinking G-R-O-W-L, because we haven't used the W, growl. Nice. We still have no greens whatsoever in word number five. That's a little concerning. But we do have a T-A-R-S in it, so maybe stars or start. I think it has to be one of those two. Let's see if word seven helps us. We have E and an N. A, R, and Y. R, E. Ooh, that Y is weird. N, E. Ooh, I'm not sure how this would go together. There's only three other letters. There's only so many places they can be. N, A, and Y. I think it has to start... No, it, it ends with an N, so it's R, A, and Y. R-E-Y-Rayan? That can't be right. 
No. Yearn. <laughs> I don't know why I was forgetting to stick the E and the A together. Yearn. All right, well, we have two guesses left. And I also just realized it could be Stark. St <laughs> oh, dear. We have two guesses left. Stars, Stark, and Start are our three options. Starve has an E on the end, so that doesn't work. So how do I figure this out? We need a word with two T's or two S's and a K. I think the only way we get this is kissy. <laughs> and yeah, it is a silly word, but it gives me a K. And if there is a K, it's stark. If there is no K, but there are two S's, it's stars. And if neither is true, then it's start. And there is a K, so it's stark. No, not that. Stark. All right, we just barely got it this time. Growl, early, dance, close, or close. Stark, beach, yearn, and barren. That is today's Octurtle, and let's finally go to the world. The world -le. Uh, I'm going to have a fun time saying that in the future. What is this country? It looks like kind of a boot, but it's not Italy. Also looks kind of like a heart valve, so that's interesting. I don't think it's in Africa, though. Um, makes me think of Peru, but I don't think that's right. Maybe Asia, something in Asia. This one looks pretty tough, actually. Uh, I'm going to try um, Southeast Asia, maybe uh, Cambodia. I'm going to try it. I have no idea at this point, though. Okay, we're pretty far away. Okay, 5,842 miles. So that's not halfway around the world. And it's to the northwest of Cambodia. So I'm thinking now Eastern Europe? I'm going to try Estonia. I think. Just as another rough guess. All right, we're getting closer. Southwest of Estonia. So we're more towards Central Europe now. Um, I know there's a couple small countries, but this looks pretty big, unless it's just enlarged. We're 1,015 miles away. Is it Portugal? I don't think this is the shape of Portugal. Um, what else is there, though? I... <laughs> Bosnia? Is that a thing? I think Bosnia is with Herzegovina. Bosnia and Herzegovina. Because I'm thinking Croatia is kind of near Italy. Bosnia is near Italy. Is this... 96%. We're close. We're so close. Netherlands. I just thought of that. Still not it. <laughs> we're... <laughs> We're halfway between them. Uh, halfway between Bosnia and the Netherlands. What could this be? Ah, <laughs> uh, what is there? There's France and there's Germany, but those aren't very big. Those aren't the right shape. Um, Poland is way off to the east. Belgium. Belgium is there. I'm going to use my touch screen. I'm getting sick of using my mouse. Belgium. <sighs> okay, this is getting frustrating. One last guess for Worldle. Please don't have this be a, a fail on my second day. Ah, oh, man. Still west and south of Belgium.
west and south. So I guess that has to be south of France. What else is there? Bulgaria, Albania. Um, I don't think it's Bulgaria. I think Bulgaria is further east. I'm going to try Albania. This is the only thing left I can think of that's in that area, unless it's Italy. But uh, Unless this is only showing us part of Italy, but I don't think that'd be fair. Albania. Oh, <laughs> Liechtenstein? Seriously? Well, <laughs> that is a fail on the Wordle. The Wordle. But we did successfully solve the Quirtle and the Octurtle. So thank you so much for watching today. Hopefully we will get better luck with the Wordle tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this video. And enjoy the rest of your Star Wars day. Because that's the thing most people are thinking about right now. See you tomorrow. Bye.